Welcome inside the dugout, powered by CubaDugout.com, your source for discovering Cuban baseball. Cesar Prieto stepped off a plane in Miami and into a waiting car that likely whisked him away to the major leagues. He is the most accomplished young hitter in the Cuban National Series, and come January of 2022, will be one of the most coveted international signing prospects. Get inside the dugout and find out about one of the most exciting Cuban ball players in the past half decade. As diluted as the talent level in Cuba has become, it is still producing an astounding number of tantalizing young baseball prospects. Many of these players are leaving younger than the previous generations and are thus more of a project for the organization they signed with. The price tags have dropped, however, and these players also represent a cleaner slate with, if not a higher ceiling, at least a longer runway to take off in the show. Cesar Prieto, at 22, might be closer to a throwback to the players of the 2010s and that his National Series resume is a bit longer after three seasons and improved with each season. This culminated in 2020 with his Cuban record 45 game hitting streak and series pacing 403 average. Most aren't surprised by his defection, but perhaps more by his seizing the literal first opportunity in leaving Team Cuba as they arrived for the America's Olympic qualifier. The Cienfuegos second baseman is slight at 5'9 and 170 pounds, but as we've seen with prospects such as Yuelki Cespedes, the American diet and training facilities can help Cuban youngsters bulk up quick. A 403 average in the Cuban National Series is still impressive and points to his best skill and one increasingly in short supply in MLB, contact. He has shown occasional power, but more works line to line and gap to gap with above average speed on the base paths to consistently hit for extra bases. He has yet to show consistent base stealing instinct and only succeeded at a 50% clip in the limited number of steal attempts in the National Series. With work, he might become a base stealing threat, or at least an opportunistic beat. Worst case, he should be able to take the extra base in base running scenarios. Cuba has slowly embraced some analytics and the associated bullpen manager. However, hand-on-hand -hand matchups and pitching changes aren't the law. Most of his damage was against righties. Anecdotally, he was kept in relative check in a playoff matchup versus Matanzas in facing veteran lefty U.S. Sierra. Adjusting to increased velocities and the likely litany of lefties he will face will be paramount in his development. He will have to establish residency in a third country before being declared a free agent. He is expected to clear these hurdles, though, in time for the January 2022 signing period. He will join fellow Cubans Jason Martinez and Oscar Colas as top prizes. Early rumors have Martinez receiving closer to $1 million, and the Astros can't be counted out due to their aggressiveness in signing Cubans and their recent scooping up of Martinez's former teammate Pedro Leon this past signing period. The White Sox have been linked to Colas at a rumored $2.7 million. This likely leaves similar dollars for Prieto and the potential of having three-fourths of an infield of Cienfuegos Elefantes if you were to join Yoan Mancada and Jose Abreu on the south side of Chicago. Prieto has played an effective second base with a strong arm, good footwork, and above average range. He is listed as a shortstop, and this is more from his time in Cuba's junior program than an indication of his future. He could perhaps develop into a third base option as he fills out or if organizational need dictated, but his best path is likely as a second baseman. In terms of stature and style of play, he compares favorably to Jose Altuve and Dustin Pedroia. I won't go as far as saying that is a ceiling, but the comps fit on many levels. Where and for how much do you see Cesar Prieto signing for, and what do you project if he makes it to the majors? Have your say in the comments. As always, subscribe here on YouTube, Smash the like button like a hanging slider or share this video.